if you asked me a few years ago what is systemic therapy, the answer would have been it's, uh, it's a fancy uh, a word for chemotherapy, which again is a fancy word for drugs that are used to treat cancer. Um, systemic meaning the drugs go throughout the body um, and uh, work on, on the cancer of interest. Uh, that's still true, but the, the types of treatments we have available have changed where traditional chemotherapy was, um, uh, I sometimes use the analogy like carpet bombing, uh, it, it would target growing cells somewhat indiscriminately and cancers are growing so they're susceptible but that's where a lot of the side effects would come in. Um, the newer treatments we have available are more targeted um, and are really aimed at some of the very specific um, defects or chinks in the armor of the cancer um, that can be exploited to, to treat the cancer and so when we talk about systemic therapies now, yes, they are systemic and they go everywhere, but the effects we see and, and therefore also the side effects we see are, are sometimes different because they are now very targeted towards the cancer rather than having a lot of off-target effects. That really depends on the, the treatment uh, in question and on the patient themselves. Um, I would argue that every, tr every treatment, every systemic treatment one would offer to a patient has potential risks and side effects and that's true for aspirin that you might take to prevent heart uh, issues and it's true for all the cancer therapies we use. Um, uh, so uh, a lot of my patients when we talk about chemotherapy um, have uh, the, the understanding of chemotherapy that's based on some of the older therapies we have that they're going to lose their hair or they're going to be throwing up in a bucket um, and, and this simply isn't true for a lot of the newer therapies we have again because they're targeted um, but because they're targeted there are side effects of those treatments that might be specific to those targeted therapies. The goal of systemic therapies is to to kill the cancer and uh, in the advanced setting to make the cancer shrink um, and thereby provide an improvement in quality of life and provide an improvement in survival or, or the length of life a patient can live in the setting of incurable disease and we've had as I've said some real successes there where in, in many cases prostate cancer even when it is incurable is more of a chronic manageable disease um, than a, uh, a, a rapidly progressing incurable disease. Um, so the benefits of systemic therapies uh, really are to um, control or diminish the disease. All systemic therapies have potential risks and side effects, so there are the drawbacks of the side effects while you're on the treatment, and, and that varies from person to person. A lot of the newer treatments we have are, are actually quite mild in their side effects, um, at least in the, uh, in the um, immediate side effects of the therapies. Uh, in prostate cancer specifically, because we are getting more successful at managing the disease with these therapies, there are drawbacks in the long term of um, uh, more long term side effects that we're really learning to grapple with. Um, you know, things like uh, bone health or, or body changes over time of being on therapies for a long period of time. But of course these are, these are issues that, that are manageable as opposed to the previous scenario of incurable progressing disease.